you're a YouTuber or YouTube viewer or a friend of James Ski and you happen to be watching his content over the years, or if you have never watched James Ski at all, you might feel suspicious and skeptical of the guy after this. So right after Too Much Death was announced, James Ski made a tweet that got everybody a little bit upset that he would say this now instead of when Too Mad was alive. And you might be asking, what's the tweet in question? Well, it's this. He says, I can finally say it. Too Mad was a rapist and a pedophile. Over the past few years, he tried to murder me multiple times for helping the police and detectives in multiple states to investigate a lot of horrible things he's done. He wanted to take out multiple innocent lives by getting behind a wheel and going head on freeway while being high on illegal drugs. He didn't succeed once as he overdosed before killing anybody, so he tried it again. Despite him trying to murder me and multiple innocent lives, I've been trying to help law enforcement to make sure he's safe, doesn't get hurt, and doesn't harm anybody. Please remember that he's a rapist and a pedophile. He continued to prey on the vulnerable even after the police got involved, including a 13-year-old in the mental hospital. The tragedy doesn't excuse any of his actions. I will address a lot of stuff when I fully collect my thoughts. Past few months have been a total mess and reason why I ended up in ER. Please give me time. Okay, so uh, a few things I gotta mention. One, why in the fuck would you tweet this now after he died? Why didn't you do it then when he was alive? like prior to January of 2024, December and November of 2023, or even in September where Too Mad at the time had a emotional outburst. I'll rephrase, an emotional mental outburst. Number two, you say he was a rapist and a pedophile. Do you have any evidence of that? Because the way you just tweeted out about evidence tells me otherwise. Like real talk, those allegations are pretty serious and they can be proven false if you don't provide them with concrete evidence. Three, was it really appropriate for you to announce this on a day too mad? committed suicide because it would have been more appropriate if you fully addressed your thoughts sooner rather than later as you still would have had the time to do it when Too Mad was alive rather than waiting until he died. It seems suspicious. Thankfully I'm not the only one who thinks that James Ski should have done it way earlier. Spindling says, does anyone else find it weird that he's now saying shit after two Mets died, not giving him the ability to defend himself? Yes, I do. Alix says, guy fucking dies, post tweet alleging attempted murder, rape, and pedophilia with no proof minutes after the death was revealed. If two Mets did that, it should be brought to light, but posting a better tweet that lunches the worst with nothing. Backing it up is bad. Exactly. Posting a tweet without evidence makes you unprepared to give your side of the story. Chris Denark says to James Ski, I'm gonna be real here. Tweeting this ain't the move right now. Should have posted proof or at least something to show anything about what you are saying. I agree because false allegations are terrible and you do not want to make them while someone just died by suicide. Now Ami Libov says, what the fuck, post proof lol, otherwise I want to make up my own wacky two mad adventure stories for internet clout. Yeah I wouldn't want to be anyone right now who is supposedly doing it for cl internet clout. 
if they don't post the actual proof along with the statement that they made. Kiko says this is so respectful while James Key just showing zero care towards the dead. Yeah, I agree. It is respectful. Imagine coming out with this information now, knowing Tumat can't defend himself only because you beefed with him a few years back. James Ski is a fucking scumbag. Tumat was clearly going downhill mentally due to the allegations and no one bothered to help him. Yeah, it's quite sad when people who passed away or committed suicide cannot no longer defend themselves in any way she could form whenever the allegations are true or false. I feel that it's quite unfair to Tumad's family if they ever see a statement like that after he died. No proof whatsoever. What kind of ass pool tweet is this? Um, FAO? When I collect my thoughts, yes, normally you would do that before posting this. Jesus Christ. Like I said earlier, it seems suspicious. Waiting till beyond the grave to post this is a little fucked up, but is that just me? Nah, man. You have every right to be, feel this way. Justin Mink says, as someone who experienced it firsthand and spoke about it, I think this tweet is fucking insane. Not even 10 minutes after they announced his passing. Yeah, like, couldn't James Key just waited a week later? to announce it, or at least a month later so that the family and the fans of Tumat have time to grieve. Though one of James Gee's friends, it's Josh, confirmed James Gee has dealt with this. I can confirm James has dealt with more in recent years than I could ever possibly imagine. There were several instances where in his life and the life of others were threatened. Genuinely a horrible situation that I would not wish on anyone. Look, it's not that I don't think that Tumad is a rapist or pedophile, but it's that James Key did not provide any evidence before actually speaking about it. That's what it's all about. I'm not mad at James Key or anything, but I'm just annoyed when people like this don't have the actual evidence to back up their claim after they make a statement. In conclusion, if you're gonna actually tell your story, you should have done it earlier when that person was alive, and you should have brought evidence with that to make sure that your story actually makes sense and isn't just a way to get the people to come to the terms of the whole believe all victims narrative without any proof that you can easily back up to make your claim stand out and to make it more believable. And don't ever try to tell your side of the story in an irresponsible way. It wouldn't look good on your part. Thank you.